that's how we feel. Our heart's desire and prayer to God is that Israel is saved. That's what, what Israel needs it right now. Black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. I want to say one thing. When Christ returns, everybody think when Christ returns, he's coming for everybody. He's only coming for the Israelites. He's only coming for the Israelites. He's not coming for everybody. It's all about... But listen, nah, trust me, it's a lot of people waking up to it. Millionaires, man, and they tax write off. They we donate. We should have our own me. NBA, own NFL. We should have all our own everything, bro. You, you hear about that? You hear about that deal that Floyd Mayweather put on the line for An Antonio Brown? He says whatever team, he says whatever team will pick up Antonio Brown, this is what we're gonna do. Give him a contract for twenty million dollars. If he can make it through the season, no issues, no hiccups, no problems whatsoever. You give him his 20 million. If he messes up one time, Floyd says he will put the 20 million up and he'll pay the NFL team for it. Why he won't put for a good cause like this? Thank you. They ain't doing it but banging each other's heads all day. Thank you. On, on, a, on a piece of turf. Thank you. Which, which is doing what? Creating a residual effect it's later on down the line for them to die. It's just entertainment. But it's people like that. To distract you from this. Exactly. But again, that's why. But here's the thing Floyd is coming around. He is? Floyd is coming around to who he is. No, no. I mean, I mean, eventually, that's the that's the point. In a fight, he get three times as that. He's getting a hundred. <laughs> he he's not fighting for less than a hundred. But here's the thing. It, that's why we gotta be out here. Even though most of our audience is online, we still gotta be out here because you never know where somebody gonna drive by. You yeah. never know where somebody gonna be, and you gotta be able to catch them in person that's and right. say, hey. This is what this is what life is about. Let me tell you something. And if they're already familiar with it, then I, it's it's up to me to be ready to be able to explain it to them. And then I'm getting my practice out here. Because oh, yeah. listen, because the point in time is gonna come, and I ain't gonna say it's gonna be like a Floyd. We really we ain't gonna idolize them or put them on a pedestal. But somebody that can really come in and make a difference with what they can contribute can be the difference maker. Not speaking, but the money financially. I'm talking help. about I'm talking about the influence. You ain't on your level, but no. but I'm saying it's the influence. Somebody like Kanye West, who's a, who's a, who's a oh, billionaire. Oh, but if they do that, they're going to get bashed by this white supremacy. Here's the thing. Here's they're, the thing. They're, 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 they're employees of the system. Now watch this. They're not going to do that. There's a lot of us. They'll lose everything they have. There's, there's a lot of us, like a Kanye West, even Kendrick Lamar. No, no, he already did. Go watch Kanye West on Drink Champs. But he went out the other nation and had kids out of, out of the nation. Kim Again, Kardashian is not a this is, this is This is beforehand. This is before he knew. Remember you said about your tattoos? You said years ago. Kanye did a song, Jesus Walks. He was talking about Israelites. He wasn't talking about Way Israelites. He had them kids. No, he wasn't talking about Israelites. Most recently, no. Kanye's been t saying actual black people are the Israelites in the Bible. He had to, we all have a concept you don't of think God. Kanye knew that five years ago? No, hell no. Uh, uh, Romans 10. What you got? Proverbs 16? Hold that. I, I, What's this? I, I this Isaiah 28, you can drop that. Give me Romans uh, okay. Romans 10. So when you get money and you go up, the information is easier to catch. Listen, so listen. Go watch Drink Champs. Drink Champs. Kanye West. Oh, yeah, I seen it with the glass. We got the shades on. He says, listen. Yeah. He says, listen. We are those people. And they going to hate me for telling you this. We know. Listen, when Nick Cannon said it, oh, they, 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 they killed him. He lost, oh, he, he lost he, damn, he damn, damn near lost everything. Kendrick Lamar said it. Funny thing, ain't nobody say nothing to Kendrick Lamar for saying it. He protected. He protected. He got one. And, 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 and you want to know something funny? We ain't heard nothing from him since. He's not going to hear nothing from him. But guess who Kendrick Lamar get down with? He got a Hispanic. His wife is a Hispanic. He's but, in it. He, he's but, doing no, right. No, no. But I'm saying, he's actually doing right. guess who Kendrick Lamar learned from? IUIC. Right. He, he put that brother on the, uh, what's that? You got it? Bring it up. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But wisdom is a, wisdom is, a, is our defense. Yes. Money can also be a defense if you use it right. If you use it, so even what you what you just said, you said not on the speaking side, but on the financial side, that too. He can use it. We can use him as a defense if he 
if he can put the money up, but at the same time, even just his voice. So if we ran into a Kanye, we ran into a Ford, we ran into a Kendrick, we ran into any of these people, and we tell them that, and they go on these platforms and speak on it, that's when we- Then y'all blow up. Then we blow up. Um, Lil Durk. Lil Durk's dad, who's a Muslim, he just came out and spoke about how Dirk's fiance, who he just proposed to, she claims to be a Hebrew Israelite. He didn't even have to say that. He randomly just said it one day in an interview, and that is what like, oh, she's Israelite? Imagine all of the sisters that look uh, up to her and follow her. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, the, yo, a drop, a cosign. Yep. See what I'm saying? That's all it takes. All it takes for a Dr. Dre to say, hey, the game, the game is where it's at. When game then comes up and he done uh, uh, blew up off of Dr. Dre's word, yeah. he goes and say, hey, Nipsey Hussle, that's the man right there. Yeah. Now everybody follow that. Right. So sometimes it might not just be money, it could be that cosign as well. That's right. See what I'm saying? It could be just as valuable. Just as valuable. Yeah. Read. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to them that, that have it. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life unto those that have it. Does, does. Because remember, when we don't have it, we in the congregation it of the gives dead. You clarity in the mind. It too. gives you cl and, and it also gives you comfort. When I leave here from y'all, I'm by myself. Facts. I'm not with none of y'all, but I still know who I am. Exactly. Versus like I said, everybody it's, else. It's confidence and it's comfort. Yes. Yeah. See what I'm saying? I don't get uh, cocky with it. I'm humble with it. You humble. But here's the thing, though. When you walk into any room, in any setting, amongst anybody, you know you can stand there and know who you are and where you stand. They already know. You see what I'm saying? And, and a lot of times all they already know. All us, everywhere we go. That's right. What you got? Romans 10, bring it out. One. Uh, Book of Romans, chapter 10 from the top. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. And that's how we feel. Our heart's desire and prayer to God is that Israel is saved. That's what, what Israel needs it right now. Black, Hispanic, and Native Indians. I want to say one thing. When Christ returns, everybody thinks when Christ returns, he's coming for everybody. He's only coming for the Israelites. He's only not, coming he's for not, the Israelites. He's not coming for everybody. That's right. that think it's all about, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's the problem that I have. Because everybody thinks they go, no, nah, no. Nah. But listen, nah. trust me, it's a lot of people waking up to it. Right. First of all, it's a lot of people that's leaving the church because of the same things you brought up earlier. Just the inconsistencies, the lies, and it's just all bullshit, really. So bullshit. Isn't it? Some people, Isn't it? Isn't it? Some people just so, leave it. Just so we. Some people rebel against God because He chose us and He's only coming back for us. You, you want us some money? We tell people that. We say like God. like a, a, a white person, Edom uh, uh, or Edomite or Israelite. They, so what do we do? Live it up. It's your kingdom. Enjoy what you have while you can. So we don't have no problem with that. But there are some of our own people that don't want to be chosen. They've made a covenant with death. They're okay with it. Yeah, they yeah. say, if, if mass is sick, we sin. If mass ain't going, then I don't think we should go. Kingdom, kingdom of heaven, black people ruling and having wealth and prosperity and success. But well, where's what, mass at in all of that? <laughs> That's one of the biggest problems. Everybody gonna think, oh, all these nations come together. Nah, bro, it's only Israelites, bro. You got the, uh, who got the, who got the apocalypse? Right, right. Y'all need to get y'all 1611 up, man. <laughs> okay. uh, wisdom, of, wisdom of Solomon 5. Well, you well, know the- When I said King James 1611, you were like, I followed your memory. I'm like, how? No, 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 no. We were talking about the Codex Sinaiticus. Oh. I was listing all of the different translations. It's the Texas Receptus and the Codex Sinaiticus. Codex Sinaiticus, when you say 1611, it was just like, what is that? What is that source? <laughs> Codex and Atticus, he, he, yeah, uh, he yeah, reminded yeah. me of it. Uh, five, start from the top. Start from the top, Wisdom of Solomon 5. Cause you say when everybody, uh, when, when Christ returns, everybody gonna be tripping and everybody gonna think that it's for everybody. It's only coming for the Israelites. He's only coming for the Israelites. But watch this, speak about it in Wisdom of Solomon. Bring they don't get that part. Nobody gets that. Wisdom of Solomon chapter five, verse one. Then so shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such have afflicted him. So we stand right now in boldness in the face of those that afflict us. We spoke about that earlier, how we put ourselves on the line. We know the truth. Listen, when you said, when you said, so why are you out here? Man, they got us documented and labeled as a, as a domestic terrorist group. Yeah. Every time brothers go fly, we have a quadruple search, oh, a, a quadruple S on your plane ticket. Also, the ICU said that they were trying to start an account and that the, uh, the government was trying to stop them from growing the account, yeah. from people donating to the account. Yeah. So we we dealing with that. They Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yeah, so 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 it's it, it, we, we're attacked in different ways. But here's the thing: 
we're not radical and we're not out here beating nobody up or threatening anybody. They have pulled brothers off of the plane, the That's Federal right. Bureau That's of right. Investigation, right. and they sit down and say, are you trying to overthrow the government? No, we're not trying to overthrow the government. Are you trying to kill white people? No, we are not trying to kill white people. We believe in God, the creator of heaven and earth, and he is a just God. He is a righteous God, and he is, he is long-suffering as well. He is not swift to, to recompense the first transgression, nor is he slack to wait on the last one. We just believe his judgment is like unto a ring. What goes around comes around, and the time is coming around when whites is going to have to pay for it through right. the power of God. That's right. We just going to sit back and reap the benefits of what God is going to do to them for it. So we don't have no plan to overthrow the government. The government is going to kill themselves. They are already doing it. The scriptures liken this, 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 these people in this place unto, again, a Leviathan. Why? Because Leviathan is a big serpent with a forked tongue. They speak truth and lies, right? Same mouth. They speak truth and lies. And they also are dumb as hell because the, 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 the giant Leviathan snake, he, he rides around chasing his own tail and he bites itself. You ever heard the term, you kicked yourself in your own ass? We always say, put a quarter of your ass, you played yourself. That's what he does. Right he now, bites his own tail. Okay, Ukraine and uh, the war, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ukraine, they killing themselves. They killing each other. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You ever heard of chemtrails? Yeah, I know about chemtrails. You ever heard, which is, which is a poison that they pump it in the air. Yes, I know. Why would these people pump, pump poison in the same air that they breathe? Anything to get rid of us. Right. But that's the thing. Because they, they know where we're going and they know they ain't going there. But that's the so, thing. They create cigarettes that they smoke. They create GMO, GMO foods that they eat, right? The, the scripture says, he that's evil to himself, to whom will he be good? So why could we ever think that he ever cares about us when he's being evil to himself? Of course he's being evil to us. He kills himself. But you can't tell him that. So again, we just got to be consistent. The more they hear it, it becomes normal. It becomes familiar. And then eventually through the spirit, if it's the Lord's will, He'll open their eyes. He'll like move the, the bill up their eyes. They only come after you when you have power under you. So, and that's what I was speaking about earlier. Like, we don't really have no influence right now. So ain't nobody paying us no mind. But if Floyd Mayweather and so-and-so was here, there should be 300 people standing right over there. But here's the thing. Slowly but surely. Even when the... Yeah, even when yeah. the... Even when, the uh, even, when, even when somebody like a Floyd says something, they do it very subtly. Yeah. And then they start trying to increase it more and more over time. Yeah. I mentioned Kanye because he's the first celebrity to just be very, very outgoing with it and he just start doing it. He's being very, very loud with it and it came when he got that Billy status where he's like, my personal opinion, like I said, I don't wanna be presumptuous and speak it like it's fact, my opinion is, he's got enough set aside to where if they did come after him, he's got enough protected and set aside to yeah. if they did come after him, yeah. he's good. Yeah, he got people behind him too. He got, you know what I'm saying? If anything, if y'all really wanna come after me, I still got enough, mm -hmm. right? Bring it out. Huh. I'm gonna stand in great boldness against those that have afflicted us. This is what we out here doing right now. Because we're not afraid of what the repercussions gonna come for speaking the truth. No. We don't care. We would love to be martyrs for the most high. Read. And made, and made no account of his labors. They were afflicting us. They made no account of our labors. And here's the thing too. <coughs> years. But listen, they'll, instead of attacking us and trying to threaten our lives, they'll try to discredit our message. They're a hate group. They're racist. Yeah. They, 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 there's no love in there. Oh, we'll be going off the same translation that you gave them. Exactly, we... right? Well, not the same translation they gave me, but that I mean, they, they use, it, you know. they use in order to try to push this love. How are we coming out of the same book of, of, of that you guys push love and we're reading something different, right? right? But here's the thing, they want to discredit us and they make no account of our later. They think that going out and spreading the slander about us is going to stop the movement yeah. and stop the message. Yeah. But it's, it's picking up. Because it's actually a spiritual battle, and it's and, it, and it's penetrating the spirit of our people, right? I know you know this. The letter J doesn't exist. Either. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, in the sixteen eleven, in the sixteen eleven, it says Iesus. It don't even say Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's not yay. It's, it's I E S U S. Oh. Because they had the uh, the letter J pretty much inserted and taken the place of of the sound right. that that I's make, a H make, or even a Y. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. Uh, go, to, go back to that in, in Romans real quick and read that. Finish it. From the top. 
the book of Romans chapter 10 from the top. Brethren, my heart, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Read. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. So our people that have a zeal, right? They have a desire or a want to know God, yeah. but not according to knowledge. So when we were speaking about Kanye, even when we speaking about the Floyds, even when we speaking about even Kendrick, he's been giving a little knowledge, right? But he still needs more to complete that zeal that he already has right. for God. He got snatched up and put in the industry. He got snatched up and put in the industry. And it's funny because remember he put that uh that, that skit or that interlude that he put on his album where his dad would left a voicemail. Yeah. And he was like, real is taking care of you as God, nigga. Uh -huh. So we God has already always been instilled into us, right. but never from the place of the truth of God. Right? So we have a zeal, but we don't have knowledge. So what happens That's when we right. lack that knowledge? Read. That's right. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness, when we are ignorant of the righteousness of God, what do we do? And going to establish their own righteousness, we go and try to establish our own righteousness. We start trying to make God what we want him to be. We're in captivity, bro. But well, what I'm saying is, we recognize we're in captivity, and this is a result of that. This is why it takes for us to study and learn and establish the truth to then go teach our people to have that zeal and couple it with knowledge. Because we're Hosea 4 and 6, we're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right. And when we lack that, right. we go try to establish our own righteousness. That's why people say, I don't get into all of that. I don't get into I have my own personal relationship with God, which ultimately is God knows my heart. I can go and do, I can go in the club every week, but God knows that I love him. And you got strippers standing around before the night start praying for tips ridiculous they have a zeal but they have no knowledge. no knowledge and since they're ignorant of god's righteousness they go about to establish their own righteousness yeah. that if i do wrong in love it's okay this that's the furthest thing from the truth of god read have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of god when you go establish your own righteousness you have not submitted yourself unto the righteousness of god He's still going to curse us and deal with us because you are not doing what he told you. It's not because it's, it's not because you don't have access for it, to it. It's not because you cannot obtain it. It's because you refuse it. Because when we come out here and we tell people everything that we're telling you, you keep saying, why won't our people do this? Because they just don't want to. Right? Drop that. Go back to that in uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Read. Come. Verse 2. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. When these people that afflicted us and made no account of our labor, when they see our salvation, they're going to be troubled with fear. Read. They shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. They're going to be amazed at the strangeness of, of our salvation. You're telling me these guys that was on the corner yelling at people and talking about God doesn't love everybody? They're the ones getting saved? The black people that was selling crack? The black people that was smoking dunking basketballs? And, and, and beating up their wives and going to jail? These are the people you coming to save? Yes, because according to the gospel of who the world calls Jesus Christ's real name, Yahweh Shai is his real name. He says what? I come to set them at liberty, right? The captives. I come to uh, uh, to heal the brokenhearted. All of the things that we suffering, he come to reverse that and to turn our captivity away. Give us the land promise to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and raise us back to that place on high above all nations because of our righteousness and our obedience to him. But until then, he's waiting for us to get right. We ain't waiting on him. It ain't like, it ain't like oh, he just hopped on a plane coming from them Timbuktu somewhere, and he going to be here when he land. No. Once we get ourselves right, it's when he's going to swoop down in like the beloved, loving father that he is, and he's going to save his children. So they look well, we at us as right. terrorists. They look at us uh, as terrorists. Too. Absolutely, we are. But I think the difference between... We are. We're just I not the violent the terrorists that they are. Listen, when they are, when they take on the role of a terrorist, they go and destroy people. When we take on the, 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 uh, the, the title or the role of a terrorist, we're building our people up. Right. And it threatens them. Right. They don't like that. See what I'm saying? That's the problem. Okay. We become terrorists, it's because we're being doing better for ourselves. They become terrorists and they go and destroy things. Right. It's a difference. Yeah. It's a matter of perspective, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. We're a terrorist to them. They're a terrorist to everyone, right. including themselves, yeah. right? Go ahead. So far beyond all that they look for. Our salvation is so far beyond all that they look for. It's strange. I could not believe that these are the people, the people that I overlooked, the people that I was oppressing, the people that I lied on. 
these are the people that are getting saved? I can't believe this. Read. Come. Verse 4. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit. Now at that time, get that brother a flyer. Get that brother a flyer. Listen. Now, now they want to turn around and they're repenting and they're groaning. It's, I, I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Because that's the spirit that people have. When you finally get them and you back them into the corner, it's like, come on, come on, listen, man. What can we do? They feel like they're going to be able to talk their way out. They feel like they're going to be able to buy their way out. The Lord says he's not going to regard silver and gold. Right? Go ahead. Anguish of spirit shall say within themselves. And they're going to have an anguish of spirit and they're going to say within themselves what they're going to say. This was he whom we had sometimes in derision. This is the man that we at times had in derision. Derision is to mean to despise. This is a man that we despise. This is a man that we put hatred on. This is a man that we were just so angry and violent towards. And now when they realize we the ones of the people, that we the people of God and we the ones receiving salvation, then they're gonna try to come back repenting and trying to change. Oh, I'm sorry, if I would have known, I wouldn't have did it. You shouldn't have been doing it in the first place. Kiss and lick our boots. Read. And a proverb of reproach. And we're the ones that we made a proverb of reproach. Reproach is something that you speak against. The proverb was, don't be like them Negroes or the stereotypes surrounded around Negroes. Black people are lazy, black people are late, black people don't want to work, black people are so destructive. We all this shit. Thank you, but we build everything. Ain't that cold? Give me uh, Isaiah 49. They damn sure didn't do it, right? But they, but they think they're the brains behind everything, and they're really not, read. Even the patents, even all of the modern advancements in technology, we did that. They took the, they took the idea and patented it. Elon Musk. What you think about Elon Musk? I hate him, we right? Way, we way further than that, bro. I hate him. We been, got? We've been doing this. Shit. I thought. Okay, right here. You see the you see the you see the uh, bubble on the back of his shoe, yeah. right? The air bubble. Yeah. A man by the name of Tinker Hatfield since 1983 have been taking credit for that. It's a black name. It's a black man named. Uh, uh, I already know, bro. It's like uh, his last name is, I think, his name, I think his name is like Ivy Lewis. It's like Black man. Now. He's got the whole contract between him and Nike. And they signed off on it. And, and Tinker Hatfield stole the idea. You heard about and Washington Nike's been Carver? making, George Nike's Washington. been making money off of that for years. George Washington Carver. He created uh, oh, the, the, the computer, right? Yeah. Yeah. God. They took everything from us. They take but it. But if we was under their captivity, they took the credit. <laughs> A black woman created the algorithm for the internet. Yeah, we know that. Oh, All of this, that. right? Go ahead. Verse 4, we fools accounted his man, his life madness. We fools, we accounted his life madness. This is what, this is the shame and how confounded they're going to be in the day that who the world calls Christ, your name, your house, shall returns and saves the Israelites. This is how they're going to feel. They're going to call themselves fools. We accounted this man's life as madness. We made no account that it was even valuable or worth anything. That's why they treated us that way. And when we get salvation, they're gonna try to repent for it, but it's gonna be too late. You already done racked up a bill that you gotta pay for. But the elite already know who we are. Exactly. But we're talking about but even the public. Take the public. But they're taking the word of the elite and then they treat us some way. That's right. Go ahead. That's right. Huh. His end to be without honor. And they thought our end was gonna be without honor. So this is what we sit up here and we work for. We'll take love, we'll take all of the all of the, the verbal assault and beatings, that's fine. Sticks and stones may break our bones, but words will never hurt us. Only thing, only word that will hurt us is disregarding the word of God. Simple and plain. We don't have to, we don't have no problem about what they say about us. They're not gonna do nothing. We have a hedge of protection from the most high, always uh, uh, around us. The angels are always encamped around us and they haven't done anything. And if they do decide it again, I would love to be a martyr for the most high. I stand boldly in the face of my oppressor and I tell them exactly who they are. I tell them exactly who I am. I tell them what I have coming and I damn sure tell them what they have coming. And they have coming the rape, rob, murder, and destruction that came that they put on us. The same thing is going to happen to them. We ain't, listen, we ain't raping and doing nothing, but they're going to receive the same thing that they put out into the world. They're going to reap what they sow. When? As soon as me and you realize who we are, they right. get enough of us to realize who we are. Let's and go. actually, effectively, love ourselves and love each other, it's going to all come down. Go. Russia going to come in. Uh, China going to come in. Damn Arabs is all going to come in. And they're going to destroy all of themselves when we learn who we are. That's right. Like you said, one thing, celebrating the Sabbath, 
will drastically change the, 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 the momentum or the direction that this place is. So imagine if we added another thing like recognizing sex as marriage. Yeah, it is, it is. Sex Recognize is sex as marriage, that means what? We'll start being more mindful. First of all, we respect marriage. Right. Yeah. Then we'll be more mindful who we lay down with. That's right. If we're more mindful who we lay down with, maybe we'll lay down with somebody we actually see ourselves with. Then we'll have better families, right. better homes, better right. communities. Right. Then we'd have more of a mindset mm -hmm. to give them the knowledge, build businesses, go mm -hmm. plant gardens. Go, go build something up. Mm -hmm. It's so many th different things that we're distracted by. So many. We gotta erase that. Another thing is, stop being a damn gossiper. Can you elaborate on that? One thing that plays our community is, oh, I heard you were saying X, Y, Z. You said X, Y, Z about me? Yeah. And then we shoot first and ask questions after. We don't see value in ourselves. We don't see value That's in why ourselves. We to kill ourselves. See what I'm saying? We hate ourselves. But here's the thing. What Tupac, see what I'm saying? Yeah. If we was more mindful of the women that we would choose to lay down with, we would know that she, we, we would probably lay down with women that are that we don't think or that we could verify is not gonna go and deal with another dude right. behind your back. Right. And we don't be mad at the woman, we, we mad at the dude she wouldn't lay down with. Now I gotta go kill him and then don't say nothing to her to correct her. See what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a lot of destructive things yeah, that we, incorporated into our lives that we refuse to let go and it's like why it's killing us it's not even like it's a benefit but you get status you get status a lot of to celebrities kill a are, are used as, as a tool against us too yeah because that's what they promoting yeah and 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 they, and they want to and they want to present another distraction yeah you could be a boxer you could be a rapper but before you become a rapper you got to go to jail or you got to go sell some or drugs or you got to catch a body and then you go rap about it but then when you rap about it you're in jail but it's cool because they're gonna let you out and then you can go rap about all the things you was doing in jail did you know the record labels have uh prison stocks they invest into the prisons so the rappers that they sign is to boost the crime rate and um fill up uh, the prison i can believe it man there is nothing that we ever gonna put past a so-called white man right. can't put he, past has, past. he has all of this stuff sewn up and locked up and it's do, and it the only thing we give him credit is he planned this wickedness out very, very well. That's what I'm our saying. We finance the Our taxes finance the prison. Our taxes finance the prison. Right? Our our labor, our labor funds the system that is designed to lock us. We're paying for our own selves to be locked up. Which which, which is what legal, which is now what makes you a legal slave. Prisoners to be prisoners. See, this, see, this, see, I, I, I get mad, bro. You see what I'm saying? I get mad, bro. Facts. <laughs> Facts. It. Bring it out. It. It. Keep reading. Huh. Go ahead. Verse 5. How is he numbered among the children of God? They're going to be confused. How is this? How are these people numbered numbered among the children of God? I was the one that took it, the, son, the image of your son and spread it across the world. I'm the one that gave him the gospel of Jesus Christ to love everybody. Yeah, you did all that all the while you were sitting here stabbing in the, in the back. It's, the scripture says that his words were smoother than oil, uh, oil, yet war was in his heart. Softer than butter, yet he was drawn swords. This is what they tell us. They tell us all this good thing. Love us. I know we love about you. Christ that they say, they try to make Christ to be real soft and like real pussy. Get that, uh, he was all scared man. Shit, shit down. Even when he was here, it, it says he was an austere man. No, 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 no. Turn the other cheek is real, but turn the other cheek is for people like Taz and Jamil. Yeah, I'll turn the other cheek and you can thank be my you. brother, but that's but a, not my enemy. Thank you. That's, 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 the, right. con that's the context that's it was written in. You see what I'm saying? If you wanted to strike me right now, that's on you, brother. You got to deal with the consequences yeah. that, that come with that yeah. because you struck a brother that right. had nothing but love for you. Right, right, right. You see right, what I'm saying? Right, 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 and right. even when you see this conversation and love that's there, let somebody come up and try to mess with, with Jamil right now. It's a problem. Yeah, say, and, and let somebody likewise. come and try to mess with me. Likewise. Jamil's on, like you said, likewise. I'm on the yeah. air. So that's the type of com so that's the type of compassion and love we have to have for one another. Whereas we can't be so quick to they, just try to they execute. They switched it up. They switched it. Turn the other cheek, meaning like your enemy, enemy. But you but they don't recognize we have enemies amongst ourselves. That's right. This book is what we call an in-house book. It deals with what's in-house, not out-house. Right, 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 right. The scripture says that amongst ourselves we can't commit usury. If Jamel needed twenty dollars, 
All right, bro, let me borrow 20. I give you 20, you gotta pay me 20 back. I can't say, all right, well, give me 30 back, I'll lend it to you. Can't do that. You know what it says? We can do it to the heathen, though. Oh, okay. See what I'm saying? We should do it. That's, that's how we make our money. It says, the scripture says, if an animal just drops dead of itself, natural causes, or if it was torn apart and killed by another animal, I can't sell that to you. I gotta sell you something that's been killed properly with intentions of it being slaughtered and broken down to sense. sell. I can't I can't give you something that's been torn apart like that. or just died. Like but guess that. who we can sell it to? The heathen. So this is something that's supposed to keep us together. This is our book, right? And also in the law it says that there's not supposed to be Oh, he's a year. So yeah, yeah, Yehuda? Yehuda? When you give no, somebody money, money Palestinian? Yeah. From where? You're not supposed to say, hey, bro, you owe me $20. From Canada? From Canada? Okay. Okay. You, look like a, you, you look like a Jew, man. You, like, you, you, you got that Jew nose, man. I like that. I like which, which, we know, which we know is really a Palestinian nose. Yeah, thank you. you see what I'm saying? We know. But um, saying all of that to say, this book was meant to keep us together where we look at each other and it's more so like, what's yeah. up? Yeah. Not like, what's yeah. up? You know what I mean? When we look at it and the way that they flipped it, they try to make it apply to everybody. Yeah. But they did that They did that because it makes sense. I've been doing all this wrong to you. I'm gonna use your concept of God to get you to love me, right. even though I've been doing you wrong. Right. And, 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 that's, and that's where we've, we've messed up. We started to look to our oppressors for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Um, you can drop that, give me a uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 11, that's what he was trying to bring out? No, no, no. Your eyes had you holding something in Ecclesiastes. Read it again. 7 and 12. 7 and 12. You still dealing with the Bumite doctrine? Yeah, we can. All right, done. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 12. For so wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. Uh -huh. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Keep reading. Consider the work of God. Consider the work of God, read. Who can make it thus straight, which he had made crooked? And this is another thing where we got to stop going around trying to sit up here and say that people who are not of God or the children of God. The Lord created these people to be crooked, to be the wicked in the earth. Who can make something straight that God made crooked? That's right. Right. That's right. That's right. Read. Come. In that day. Read it again. Consider the work of God. Who can make that straight which he had made crooked? Go ahead. In the day of prosperity, be joyful. In the day of prosperity, that day we just spoke about, where these heathens is going to look at us and say, wow, I can't believe these are the people that receive salvation, right? In the day of prosperity, right? What happened? Be, or it says rejoice or be joyful. Why? But in the day of adversity, consider. But in the day of adversity, you're supposed to consider the work of God. Bring it out. Son, in the day of prosperity, be joyful. But in the day of adversity, consider. God also has set one over against the other. That God has set one over against the other. Read. To the end that men should find nothing after him. To the end that men should find nothing after him. So when you understand the work and the operations of the Most High God, he sets people over each other. And that's okay. We recognize and we accept our punishment from the Most High God. We just understand the latter end of things. We're not mad at whites. I'm not mad at whites. I know they are. Some guys. And, 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 and this is and this is what you call misplaced anger. I'm not mad, and I'm not going to waste my time being mad at them. I just understand what they did, and I understand what they deserve. You really can't blame them if you listen to the text. Right, because it's all fault. We brought this upon ourselves. But again, they have done things that they have to account for. Oh, yeah, and, oh, yeah, and, oh, yeah. and we believe in a power that's going to make them hey, Lee, be accountable for it. We Israelites, right? So we're being punished for not obeying God. So why are they being punished? He's going to destroy them. And, and, and he's going to destroy one so that everybody else knows. He's going to go knock Debo out. He's going to go knock Debo out so he ain't got to go from block to block to block to block trying to fight everybody. We, we cut the head off and the body will follow. That's right. That's right. So that's how he's going to establish it. Yeah. 
it's, it, it's just the justice of it. He is balanced. Even though it was because of our wickedness and disobedience and then they were set up, they still did things that they have to account for. You reap what you sow. They've sown wickedness, they're going like, to reap destruction. Like they're never going uh, to get their, 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 their punishment. Listen, I know this is where faith comes in, but at the same time, when you watch them, they're going to come down. They're already coming down. Yeah, yeah they're definitely going to receive their punishment. They're already, the, they already on the way down. They're going to destroy themselves. They gonna destroy themselves. It seems like we're not reaping our benefits, and they're not reaping their uh, their consequence. But again, they, but here's the thing: a lot of it, like I said, is subtle. Once you come rock with us, you gonna start to see all the people that are actually waking up. Even though you were aware of Israelites before now, after today, you gonna start seeing stuff. You gonna start talking to them like, oh, I know Israelites. You're like, wow, it's a lot of people. So the subtlety of our growth is the same subtlety of their fall. Ah, you know like hey, sis, the question. What's your nationality? You don't know? You don't think that's a problem? You don't know your nationality? That's her co-worker. Big bucks. That's the co-worker. They went to lunch. They going back to the office. I know, right? No, that, that's how they. That's how they. Live. That's how they walk around the office nowadays. She said, "I don't know." Don't worry about it. They downtown. She'll walk by again without them. Uh, what you got? You got Isaiah? Luke 19. Get Luke 19. Bring it out. It's book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 20. And another came, saying, "Lord, behold, here is thy pound which I have kept laid up in a napkin, for I feared thee, because thou art an austere man." So even when Christ was on the scene, he had given men certain talents, right? Which is which is money. They were supposed to take that and they were supposed to then go and multiply what he initially gave them, right? The man, one of the men that he gave money to, took the money and buried it to try to protect it so that when he returned, he'll just have what he brought him. He said, he said, I went and I buried that talent you gave me because I know you're an austere man. Somebody get a definition for all steel. Go the sec. What do you say? Go the sec. Go the sec. Hey, Bobby, Bobby, you were speaking about uh, these informants. Like, not yeah, young, I mean, like the, I mean he, he said they'd be at the top of the building looking down. Like, looking say down. if I'm standing here, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, that's why I wasn't really trying to come here. Like, like, bro, I know go, what you mean. Let's go in a private room. Let's go upstairs in one of these buildings and, 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 and talk. So, like they talk. But the they, script, they but, doing secret meetings, bro. Uh, uh, I got you. I got but you. But we're supposed you. to go public. You know what that's at? We're supposed to go public. Uh, 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 woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel. But, but we're supposed to go public. So I yeah, we gotta be I public. We gotta be public. I got you. I because, got you. Because we don't have nothing to hide. I know right, what you mean. Right, I got you. I know what you mean. And like I said, the scriptures also say there's a time and a place for everything. Right. We broadcast and publicize these conversations because people have to see it and know that they're happening. That's right. See what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but there is a time and a place where, like I said, where we can go and break bread on some real uh, 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 deeper matters of the scripture. Right. Where we can actually sit down and we can go to all the sources that but we have. I like have. the fact that we're open with it. Absolutely. Like we don't got nothing to hide. But again, you got the flyer. You got our information on there, even our contact information. So even when you want to make sure you know where we at, just hit us up and then you know we'll, we'll let you know. Every Saturday? Every Saturday and every Thursday. Thursday evening, Saturday morning. How many hours are uh, y'all here on Saturday? Four. Okay, from 11, I'm, I'm from 11 to Saturdays. 3. Sometimes we'll even go to four. I'm off what time Saturdays. is it right now? 3.17. 17 See I'm saying? We're going a little over right now, but as soon as we get these scriptures, you know, it depends. If people like you that come up, shoot, we go all day. Yeah, Brothers yeah, like him yeah. that come up, we'll go all day. I'm going to try to get some, and, uh, next Saturday, I'll try to get like two, three more people with me. All right, for sure. I'm gonna tell you, listen, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you this video. Queen's Flip came up and got edified. Cool. Hey, you. I'm going to let uh, you know no, that. No, 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 for real. I might get your number that way I can see it. Facts, 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 facts. Share facts, it on my Facebook. Facts. Matter of fact, <laughs> matter of fact, huh, he get his. His, his, number, his number is always on. <laughs> listen, his phone always works. Bring it out. This is what guy Isaiah chapter 29, verse 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. So it says, woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. So we don't really focus too much on having private meetings. We do Fridays, but even on Fridays, we broadcast it live on the internet. You see what I'm saying? But for the most part, man, we here to lift up our voices like a trumpet and declare this truth and this wisdom into the wind and, 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 and to the wind and into the trees. We want to go and teach this unto everybody. We want to cast out a broad net and bring everybody in and be fishers of men. And when we bring in that catch, 
we separate the clean from the unclean, as Christ is going to separate the sheep from the goats. That's right. Right? So it's all a precursor as to the grand scheme of things when the Lord is going to take away the righteous away from the wicked. Right? Bring it out. And their works are in the dark, and they say... And their works are in the dark. This is what the brother was just talking about. Right? They go into these high... Uh, penthouses, these lost, or even sometimes they go into these deep underground bunkers, and they have these private meetings, and they discuss private things, mostly about how to keep their prominence and their dominance in the earth, and to do what? And how are they going to do that? To keep the black, Hispanic, and Native Indian distracted and down. Right. The more they keep us down and distracted and keep us subjected to them, they will always be able to utilize us to make money, and they'll always win. They keep us away from knowing God and who we are and how to serve God, God will never reward us with the promises that he's given us, right? You got a flyer? Bring it out. And they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? They say, who seeth us and who knoweth us, right? But all of these people have been exposed so many different times. So Sakari, Taz, and Jamil, we know about all of these, all of these meetings that happen. We might not know the details, but we know what's going on in there. And, and, and we can also recognize that when they go in and they, uh, uh, the presidential administration, yeah. and they have these Oval Office meetings and all of that, we know what they're talking about because when they come out of those offices and they now are supposed to execute the promises made to get them elected, they right. never do. Right. right. They do the complete opposite. Uh, uh, Joe Biden said, if you don't vote for me, you're not, you're not black. black. We vote for him. First thing he do is an Asian crime bill. Asian crime bill. First of all, how's a white man gonna validate your blackness? Right. This is wild stuff. And he'll say this on TV, and our people will say, "I mean, you're right." Because why? Because I can't vote for Trump. But guess what? Trump came out with the Second Chance Act, which got a lot of these people that Joe Biden was locking up in the '94 crime bill. Donald Trump got him out of jail. I don't like Donald Trump, but I'm saying if you really want to compare the two, Trump did more Trump, for black people than, right. than Joe Biden did. I seen a clip where Biden was saying the N-word. And when he said you have been bad to the blacks. And you have been bad to the blacks. The blacks, the blacks don't like you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't been too good to the blacks. The blacks love me. I've been around them in the 80s and the 90s. Okay? I roll with Tupac. You know that. Snoop Dogg is my homie. <laughs> Joe is, I mean, uh, 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 Donald is funny, man. He's, listen, he's a regular old white guy yeah. that's going to tell you the truth, and I can respect him more than Joe. I respect him way more than Joe. I can respect yeah. him more than Joe. Joe going to look at you in the face, like I said. He's going to lie to you. Softer than butter, smooth as oil. Wolves and sheep. Wool and sheep's clothing, right? And we got to be able to, I'm going to tell you this. All of them is wolves. Did you know the Democrats founded the KKK? Absolutely. You know why? Because the Democrats was against... Uh, the emancipation of black people. I right, listen. I just, I just fully understood that in November. You just, you just realized it. I understood it. It's about I learned, like you, like you said earlier, I learned Spanish and French enough, but I wasn't paying attention. I had knowledge of what happened. I never fully understood it until November. I went to the African American Museum in DC. Yeah. And, and they just got it all lined up and mapped yeah. out. And when you understand what was going on and how the Democrats versus Republicans and how they were trying to do things, mm -hmm. who was that? Clinton. I think it was Clinton. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I think it was JFK that turned black people into, uh, and brought them onto the Democratic Democrat. side, yeah, he, yeah. right? They're because because of, because of all of the assistance, the government assistance that they was giving them, which black people that are able to make money now are more Jeremiah twenty nine. All of your black Republicans are more Jeremiah twenty nine, and most black people are Haggai one and six. I put money in bags with holes in it. They're the ones that want to stay poor and stay broke. Yeah. The, the Democrats, Democrats yeah. but then the black Republicans is more Jeremiah 29. I'm gonna go build a house. Yeah, I'm gonna go plant. Right. I'm gonna, see right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it, that's how they separated, and, and and it's always a mindset of how they affect us, right? But it's like all of us black people, we always vote Democrat every time. We always vote Democrat because we think that that's the black, the people that's gonna do things for blacks. But they founded the KKK. But here's the thing, though. Even though they founded the KKK, even their assistance is de is detrimental to us. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, bro, anybody will tell you like Clay Thompson? I'm not Clay Thompson. Uh, uh. Blake Griffin? Blake Griffin. <laughs> Blake Griffin. I already knew you. Another biracial angel, right? I knew you like, yeah, Blake Griffin. Another biracial angel. Uh, uh, Blake Griffin, right? Um, what you got? Isaiah 29, finish that, and then what else you got? Luke, you can drop that. Galatians, you can drop that. You Galatians 4, right? You can drop that. Give me, give me Isaiah 29, 15. What you got? You got nothing? What's that? PSC 7? You got anything? All right, bring it out. Isaiah 29, 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. That's why destruction is coming to these people because they seeking deep to try to hide their counsel. Not only are they doing it, but you brought up something about the boule who they try to seek deep to hide the counsel from the Most High as well. Read. So that's why we say we're not going to just try to push to have private meetings. We have meetings behind closed doors, but we ain't pushing that. We'll, hey, whatever it is we'll say behind those closed doors, we'll say it in public. We don't care. I respect that. Facts, right? Read. And their works are in the dark, and they say, who seeth us and who knoweth us? Because they don't think that anybody sees and knows it. But like I said, even the common folk like me and you, we know. I wouldn't disagree with you, but I, I I I boast in the Lord. I don't boast in myself, but I do boast in the Lord. And I'm gonna show you something. Michael Jordan, when he dropped 69 on on, on Greg Elo, every time he came to court, he says, "I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. Let's see if you can stop it." He said, "I'm gonna catch the ball on the wing." He said, "I'm gonna spin to the baseline, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna take one dribble. I'm gonna go up, fade away. Let's see if you can stop it." He caught the ball. He sized him up, you know how Mike do. Yeah, yeah. Spin baseline, one dribble, he rise up on him, cash. And he hit him for almost 70 points. All game. Who was Who? guarding him? Greg Elo. So called white man. This is Jacob versus Esau. That ain't no, that ain't no, uh. Jamil, the point that I'm making is, it's even when, I, it's even when we tell these damn Edomites what we gonna do, it's they still can't, can't stop it. So why are we being stopped? Listen, we stopping ourselves. The so-called white man ain't stopping. The so-called white man is giving us things to stop ourselves. Okay. He's not, he ain't, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. he ain't stopping you. He's saying, hey, Jamil, you want some crap? He's not making you take the gun. He's putting them in your neighborhood. He's putting them in your neighborhood. He's putting them in your hand and saying, hey, Jamil, that black guy said something about you. You should go kill him. <laughs> Have you ever seen that TV show, Them? <laughs> no. It's on, it's on uh, uh, Amazon Prime. And it literally depicts the life of black people when they migrate over here from the south to the, to, to the west coast, uh, right up here in Compton. Really? They depict our life as a horror movie, but it but it speaks. It's so accurate to what we go through. And and and, and the father, right? He's the father of two kids, two little girls. He's got this Bojangles demon that every time a white person says something racist, every time somebody pisses him off. You got this, 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 this Bojangle Negro in your ear like, what you gonna do? <laughs> they put the gun in your hand, they put the rock in your hand, yep. they put the ball in your hand, and then they say, what you gonna do with it? And all everything that we do is to destroy us. Even though we created hip hop, they put the mic in our hand. They put the mic in our hand, and they never told us what to rap about. All right, go ahead. Okay. Do that. Oh, you good, you good, you good. Uh, B on you. Oh. Listen. They put the mic in our hand. They never told us what to rap about. But what they did say was, there is an incentive now. There is an incentive now that if you rap about selling dope and destroying your community and killing folks yeah. and, 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 and disrespecting yourself as well as your people, I'll give you millions of dollars. You see what I'm saying? So now it's an incentive. But even though they take private counsel and, and to come up with strategies, we can tell them what we gonna do. And we've been telling them what we gonna do. And they still ain't been able to stop it. Cause that's how powerful we are. And guess what? That's how powerful the Most High God is. Right, right. We oh, understand right. that. We'll, we'll prosper, right. we'll strive, right. we'll make a lot more money. Give me Joshua 1 and 7. Finish that, you just finish that? Finish it. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. In their councils, their private councils, they've turned everything upside down. Right. They make the origin of life white right. instead of us. Like 
Right, they're the Jews, no they're not. They make themselves the Jews the and Jews. that we're not. Right. So them turning things upside down is gonna be seen as if this is the way God made it. The potter, God, as his clay. That this is the way they made us. When it's the opposite, right? Opposite. So we gotta be out here working hard to turn things right side up, read. Yep. For shall the work say of him that made it? The work us say to him that made it, God? He made me not. You didn't make me. A lot of our people are just denying God completely and saying, I don't even cut that's BS. The white man gave us that. No. Us Talking about gave us the concept of God, gave us this book, gave us our all the knowledge of everything. No, when it's not that. true. When it's not true. They manipulated and used what we already believed and already had against us. Read. Wait, let's go. They made it. They made it to fit their agenda. They let it. They made it work for them. Now we need to be able to utilize it and make it work for us the right way. Go ahead. If I might add, look at Eli. You see, look at Eli. How they try to do at the end? You try to use it to do some wicked shit. Right. Create the new, the new King James version, right? Go ahead. Or shall the thing frame say of him that framed it, he had no understanding? Shall the thing frame us say to him that framed it, God, that he don't got understanding as to who we are? He gave his understanding to the prophets, and this is how we're able to use it through the spirit of prophecy and even archaeology, even uh, 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 historical records yeah. that we have to support all of our claims. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh read. Is it not yet a very little while, and Lebanon shall be turned into a fruitful field? That's it on them. But again, there's nothing that they're going to be able to do to stop what we have going. Because what we have going is backed by who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, real name Yahweh Shai, and the Father, the Most High God Even if Yahweh. we got infiltrators? Even if we got infiltrators. Like I said, I tell people all the time when they talk about agents. I would love for somebody to try to infiltrate our, 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 our uh, organization. Yeah. Why? Because what are they going to find out? All we do is talk a little shit to each other every now and again, and we read the Bible. <laughs> this would be the worst job an agent could ever have. Right, right. Hey, 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 listen, uh, agent, agent, what's going on? I need, to, I need something. Boss, I mean, <laughs> all they do is read the Bible all day. All they do is figure out ways to apply the Bible to their lives and live right and try to love one another. And every, and every now and again, somebody will mess up, they'll have a counsel, they'll correct them, and it moves on. What? We ain't doing nothing illegal. We ain't laundering money. Right. We ain't we ain't uh, locking women up in the basement over right. there. We ain't beating nobody up. We ain't did nothing. We ain't gonna do nothing. Right. We gonna teach our people. The scripture says, "Wisdom and knowledge shall be, shall be the stability of our times." That's right. That's all we build. That's all we doing is building us up mentally, spiritually, and with that, it puts the spirit on spirit on us to build ourselves up physically.